Yo, welcome to Six Slayers, the comic signature show, period. I'm Mike the Six Slayer, chilling with my man, the king, the signature king. Tony, what's up? Another great day to be a collector of signatures, for sure. I, I, I gotta, I gotta admit, man, I'm addicted to these these meetups, uh, showing each other our, yeah. our, our, our 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 stash, our sigs, and so stash fam, we got a huge treat today. We're gonna share with you ten hot signed villain covers, and that's coming from the Signature King and Mike the Six Slayer. But before we even start, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please, please comment because we about to go off with some heat, man. So. Tony, we're, since we just said villain covers last time, and so that's all we're doing. So this is villain covers across time. So this is not no theme. It's just villain straight up a la carte. You ready to get started? Let's do it. All right, man. So what what's first up for you, man? <laughs> this this was hard for me. This really was because DC, in my opinion, has probably the best villains in the comic book game. Uh, and it's there's so many good ones, and that to only pick a few, uh, I felt like I was doing an injustice to others. But hey, that's what the villain does. Uh, so uh, my one of my absolute favorite villain covers uh, has some great signatures on it, and that one is uh, from 1987, okay. Suicide Squad number one, uh, mm. Carl. We got uh, Howard Chaikin signature on here and um, John Ostrander. So uh, um, that's that's what the first that official, right? Castle. That's the first official yeah, Suicide Squad, first, right? First official, yep. Wow. First official. So he's, he's coming in with the, with, with, with the treasure from the Copper Age. I'm coming in with my first one. I'm, I'm going in chronological order. So, you know, I, I love them all, so there's no hierarchy. So I'm going to just go in chronological order. This first one is, uh, I mean, it's a classic, classic, classic. This is Batman 181. This is Poison oh, wow. Ivy's first appearance signed by the late great inker, Joe Giella. You guys already know what time it is. This is a classic, classic. Tony already mentioned that DC has one of the best Rose Gallery in all the comics, and Batman has one of the creme de la creme Rose Gallery, and Poison Ivy is one of those cornerstone characters. So there you have it, Batman 181, signed by the great Joe Giella. Joe Giella. This was signed in 2020. Jeez. So how am I supposed to compare with that? Uh, I've not. But uh, this next one is probably one of my favorite villain focused stories and when i knew i was going to get the chance to get jeff johns to sign it i knew i had to just i had to get i couldn't just get an a cover i couldn't get a b cover i had to go i had to find some kind of elusive cover that you pretty much had to be there to get and i got lucky and i found one and i was able to get him to sign my new york comic-con 2013 exclusive copy of forever evil Oh, wow. The most modern day villain focused story, in my opinion. This is uh, Lex Luthor leading his own Justice League. So, uh, wow. So I've never, I've never world, seen so. it. That's New York Comic Con variant? Yeah. New York Comic Con 2013 variant. So, hmm. uh, David Finch cover. Oh, David Finch cover. Got the Jeff Johns to sign it. So, yeah. Uh, had to get this one. Uh, I found it for a nice price, so I pulled the trigger. Oh my goodness, Tony, man. I love that, man. I've never <laughs> seen that. Uh, Forever Evil is one of those highlight miniseries that spawn out of the pages of Jeff Johns' Justice League run uh, out of the new 52. I've uh, never seen that cover, man. You always be coming with things I haven't seen before, man. But that's why you are the Signature King. <laughs> uh, next up. All right, so I went from the 60s. Now I'm going to the 70s and I'm a Batman guy. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to hit you with Batman villains. And this one is Batman 244, the great Ra's al Ghul cover. Wow. This is signed by the great Neil Adams and writer Elliot Magan. So yes, wow. this, this, this cover, this is one of the iconic Ra's al Ghul covers. I believe this is like his like third appearance or something like that. 
and I, I, I never quite understood the cover. He has his, his uniform in his hand, but he's still kind of wearing the uniform. So, <laughs> but not, I digress. It's a classic cover. The late, great Neil Adams is just, I mean, he's the God, he was the godfather of Batman. And I had the pleasure of meeting him several times at the Krusty Bunker. And these are one of the dozens of Neil Adams cigs that I got during that time. Batman 244. Back to you, Tony. What an iconic cover. That is an iconic cover. It's been homage to death and back, but it's still, you know, once you see him in the wild, especially with the Neil Adams on there, just like, holy moly. But uh, yeah, we're getting down to some really tough ones for me. I had to make some really difficult choices, but um, a great underrated villain in the DC world definitely made my cut. Uh, signed by Christopher Priest in 2021. Oh. Uh, I went with uh, Deathstroke, Rebirth, number one. Yes. Couldn't couldn't have a villain without Deathstroke, so. Yes. Uh, and Christopher Priest is, uh, was the first time I met him, super nice guy. Uh, if you get a chance, go chat with him. He's a uh, very humble individual. Man, I just met Chris Priest uh, last year at Memphis Comic Con, and you're absolutely right, Tony. Dude was humble, gave my son a Deathstroke print, signed it. Uh, oh, wow. Great guy, yeah, man. A uh, uh, Francesco Matina print uh, from the uh, Deathstroke vs. Batman run, and um, and signed it. And he was just a great guy. So I'm glad you you brought that up. And once again, I haven't seen that cover. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. All right, so now you know I'm time traveling, to Tony. So went from the '60s, '70s. Now I'm in the '80s, and so I did do some. Uh, another villain that wasn't a Batman villain. I had to break away. So this is the only non-Batman related book from my five, Tony. And this is Darkseid's first appearance, cover appearance on Superman. And this is signed by the great John Byrne. This is Superman three. This was during the DC Legends. This is one of my favorite, favorite books of all time. You don't run across John Byrne, like ever, and <laughs> no, this is, don't. and this is Dark Side's first cover appearance on Superman. So think about all the times Superman had issues and fought against Dark Side in the '70s, in the '80s, and this is from '87 as well as like a Super Suicide Squad. Dark Side never made the cover until until John Byrne got him. So. That's why this made the cut because Dark Side is definitely in my top five all-time villains. That's incredible. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. It's a fun little fun little fact, little put a little wrinkle in your brain. So now yes, we're sir. down we're down to two. Um, and this one was really hard. Uh, so who was gonna take my number one spot? Um, uh, a great runner up uh, in terms of villains in, in the DC universe. One of my absolute favorite villains of all time. Um, and a rare signature indeed for North America. Uh, I got um, Sinestro, number one, um, signed by Colin Bunn. Really? So, yeah, yeah, I got a Colin Bunn. The only one in my collection. No, I have two in my collection, so this is one of them. Um, but Sinestro, great villain, fantastic villain. Mark Strong in the uh, Green Lantern movie did a great Sinestro, so kind of we'll never get to know how that was going to work out but hey sinestro baby can't beat it can't beat it sinestro is probably he's definitely in my top five villains probably my third favorite villain i love him i love how jeff johns used him i, I just i just love sinestro that's I, I never met cullen bun either so i mean you, you're coming with him man. i like how we're we're hitting all the notes hitting all the bases man <laughs> now this one man i got this term stash fam is called mad sigs so I had to bust on Six Layer, uh, a book where it has mad six, because I got so many books that got just a dozen plus signatures on it. So I wanted to bust one of these out. So this next book is a one out of, I want to say 200 variant of Batman 700. And now this has the Red Hood cover by Mike Mignola. Now, I, I have to read these names because there's, there's so many of them. So I'm, <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna read them. Uh, so we got, you know, Grant Morrison, Frank Quietly, Alice Sinclair, 
uh, uh, Freddie Williams Jr., Dustin Wynn, Scott Williams, Andy Kuber, Tony Daniel, uh, Scott Collins, Richard Friend, David Finch, Shane Davis, Philip Tan, I mean, geez, Bill Sienkiewicz, just mad SIGs, guys. Oh. Mad <laughs> SIGs. So this one here, and this has 15 signatures on it. So I wanted to show people what, what I mean when I say I'm a six player, I be six land. This book here has touched the hands of the greats. That's that's a lot. That is a lot. 15. Plus, oh man, those all those are absolute legends in their own way. So that's that's tough. But uh yeah, we're down to my number one pick here. Numero uno. Number one. So this is the Boss Logic cover, uh, signed by Ron Mars, Brandon Peterson. Uh, and my absolute favorite villain of all time, um, Black Adam, Endless Black Winter Special. Adam. Yeah. Uh, double signed by Ron Mars, Brandon Peterson, Boss Logic cover. It was no brainer for me. As soon as I knew we were doing villains, Black Adam was going to be on the list. I just wasn't sure if he was number two or number one. Wow. <laughs> you know what's crazy, Tony? I like, I almost, I put that, not that cover, I didn't have that. But I had a I had a boss logic cover that I was going to drop today, and it did it didn't make the cut. I had I had a few books out, and I was like, oh yeah, boss logic. But it's crazy though, because I was like, dude, I want someone to know about boss logic on the show, and Tony did it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's perfect. It's great it's minds think alike. Great minds think alike. And what was a double sign, triple sign, double sign by Ron Mars and Brandon Peterson. Man, number one. And yes. here's my number one. I, I had to go with this one because I kid you not, Tony, I had mostly Joker covers. So I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a Joker cover. And this Joker cover to me represents the best or the most iconic modern Joker cover. So, so from 2000 to now, this Joker cover, in my opinion, is tops and that is batman i mean not batman detective comics 880 oh. this jock cover signed by scott snyder jock and david baron um this they, they got so many versions of this book this is an iconic cover uh if you haven't read detective comics black mirror this to me is scott snyder's best story so this tops Port of Isles, Metal, all that. This this uh, Black Mirror story where it has Jim Gordon Jr. as the villain is fantastic. And you have Francesco Villa doing those stories. And then you got Jock doing stories featuring Dick Grayson as Batman people. So that's what's also great about Black Mirror. That's not Bruce Wayne in that story. That is dick grayson if you're a comic book fan you've seen this cover okay you've seen it they have they, they made short boxes of this cover you know so <laughs> uh, so i mean so yeah so detective comics 880 signed by scott snyder jock and david baron so, i've so, seen posters of that in like places that don't even sell comic books but they got that as a poster for whatever reason exactly so I mean that's a, that's our that's our hot ten sign villain covers, but Tony, we gotta hit him with a recap. Rapid fire, <laughs> rapid fire. Uh, first one, Suicide Squad from 1987, signed by uh, John Ostrander and Howard Chaykin. Um, up next, we got uh, Jeff Johns, signed my New York Comic Con exclusive of Forever Evil. Um, awesome, Deathstroke yeah. number one, signed by Christopher Priest. Um, Sinestro by the legendary Colin Bunn and to top off my uh, awesome DC Comics Sunday was Black Adam Boss Logic cover Ron Mars Brandon Peterson that is the Signature Kings Hot 5 villain cover stance fan I, I can't be he's always bringing the hot the hot the hot the hot the hot <laughs> heat the hot the hot the hot the hot heat now for me Rapid fire real quick. Batman 181, the first appearance of Poison Ivy, signed by the great Joe Giella. Then I got Batman 244. I love this cover. Ra's al Ghul, signed by 
Neil Adams, and writer Elliot S. Magan. The first Dark Side cover on Superman and Superman uh, number three or two, number three, volume two. So this is also the, the first time they renumbered Superman. And this is the first time Dark Side has been on a Superman cover. Then we have this 15 time sign, 15 time sign, that's a tongue twister, <laughs> beauty. This Mike Magnola cover signed by a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of Batman creators. I love it. And last but not least, the super iconic jock cover of Detective Comics 880, triple sign by Scott Snyder, jock, and the left-handed assassin, David Barron. So, man, it, it, Tony, we did it again. I, I love I love these, man. We're we going we to do it again and again and again, and I, I love it. Stash fan, be sure to follow my man, The Signature King, at The Signature King right here on YouTube. And as always, please like and subscribe this. Well, that's all for our show. If you like what you see, holla at your boy. Peace. Six, six, six.